Something moved behind the slitted eyes. Johnny, making no sudden movements, turned wind splitter and pulling the lead horse began to move away in the direction from which he had approached. He had already noted that these paths were mostly rectangular and that you could go all the way around a group of buildings and come back to the same place. There was open country to the east, not very far. He would go down a side path and then circle back and get out into the plains. Hopefully, he could outrun it, if it moved. There was a ear-splitting roar. Johnny glanced back in terror. The thing rose up three feet above the ground. Dust flew from below it. It began to inch forward. It was alive. He put Wind Splitter into a gallop, straight down the street. He passed one corner path, two. The thing was falling behind. It was now two corners back. He swerved Wind Splitter up a side path, yanking the lead horse with him. They reached another corner, and again he turned. Up ahead were two tall buildings. He'd keep going and reach the open country. He'd make it. And then suddenly there was a sheet of flame. Ahead of him, the right-hand building exploded apart. Its top slid slowly down and into the street ahead, blocking it. Spattered with whoa, dust, whoa, whoa. Johnny hauled up short. He could hear the roaring of the thing somewhere beyond the rubble. He listened, holding his breath. The position of the roar was changing. It was shifting to the right.